All right, so we're back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can handle uh, slash commands. So whenever we send a slash command, we want to uh, return some kind of response to the user. Either we'll send you know a message or whatever, right? So how do we do that? Well, there's actually an event called interaction create. And basically, whenever you fire some kind of application command interaction, it's going to go ahead and trigger the interaction create event. And all we can do is just listen to that event in our code. And then we can simply just uh, handle the logic based off of what the name of the command is. It's actually really simple, and I'll show you how we can do this. One more thing that I'll mention is that the official Discord JS docs does have an up-to-date example on how this works. So our example will look very similar. So let's go ahead and get started. So inside our code, I'll go over here on line 22, and I'll just enter a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and register the interaction create event. And we're going to pass in a callback function. Now, the callback function is going to have one parameter. That parameter is going to be an interaction, a base interaction type. Now, one thing to mention is that interactions, uh, there's different types of interactions, right? Remember, there's chat input. There's a uh, message component. There's, a, uh, I think, there's drop-down menus, right? So you need to make sure that you're checking to see what the type of interaction is. Because if you don't, then the code will not be able to infer the correct data type for that interaction. And I'll explain a little bit. So for example, you can see that in the code that what they're doing is they're checking to see if the interaction is a chat input command. Now they're actually checking if it's not a chat input command. So I think they were trying to check for something else. I'm not really sure what's, I'm not really too sure what's going on over here though. But um, in our case, we're working with chat input commands, right? So we wanna make sure that we're checking to see if it is a chat input command. Now, if it is, what we'll do, and I'll show you right over here real quick. If it is a chat input command, then what that means is, let me show you real quick. That means that the actual uh, instance is going to be a chat input command interaction, okay? Which actually is a subclass of base interaction. So base interaction is a superclass, and chat input command interaction is a subclass. Now, uh, if you're not really too familiar with object-oriented programming concepts, I would highly encourage you to definitely learn object-oriented programming. It's very, very useful, and it's going to help under help you understand how objects behave and relate with other objects and classes, okay? But to make things short, basically, chat input command interaction is an extension of base interaction. To be more precise, it actually extends command interaction, and command interaction extends base interaction, okay? Now... Chat input command interaction is going to inherit all of the parent classes, properties, and methods. Now, the parent class of chat input command interaction is command interaction. And the parent class of that class is base interaction. So all the properties and methods are going to be inherited by uh, any class that extends you know, the, the parent class. That's how inheritance in, in object-oriented programming works. So the reason why I mention this is because if you don't check to see what the data type is, if you don't check to see if it's a chat input command interaction, if you don't check to see if it's a message context menu command, right? You're going to end up with the wrong properties and methods. Because remember, different uh, interactions are going to have different properties of our methods, and it's going to screw you up a little bit. So that's why it's important to check type. So that way your code will actually infer it. If you're using TypeScript, it will be very helpful for you. Uh, if you're using JavaScript, it should also infer the type for you. Okay. But let's go ahead and check to see if the interaction is a chat input command. And if it returns true, that means it is a chat input command. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and write a console log and I'll just say hello world. Okay. And let's go ahead and save. Let's go into our code now. Okay. And let's go ahead and test this out. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and register a command. So let's go ahead and set up a simple order command. So this could be for something like, you know, order, order something. Okay. So we'll just set up one command for now. And let's go into Discord. Well, first, let's actually run our bot. Okay. So let's wait for it to log in. It's logged in. And if I do slash, you're going to see that the command is there now. Now, if I go ahead and hit enter, and if I look at the console, you're going to see that it says hello world. And it's logging hello world because we are we are handling the interaction create method or event. Okay. Now, also, because interaction.is chat command 
is chat input command is true, it's also going to log console log. If this was false, if it was not a chat input command interaction and it was something else like a select menu, then it obviously would not execute the code inside uh, these uh, this block. Okay, so let's go ahead and reply to this slash command. So to do that, we'll just pass in, or not pass in, we'll call the reply method and we'll pass in an object and we're going to pass in content property and this is just going to allow us to specify what uh what we want to send to the user so i'll just say hey there bunch of exclamation marks and let's go ahead and see what happens so uh let's go ahead and go to our console let's make sure we're logged in let's order something and you can see that it says hey there the bot responded with hey there okay Let's do it again hey there so this is how you can respond to the slash command when the user uh when the user sends it okay pretty pretty straightforward so hopefully this made sense and obviously there's a lot of other things that you can do with slash commands and we'll explore them as we uh go through this whole series for now i'm gonna leave it as is with this tutorial i want to keep it short simple and concise if there's any questions check out my discord server the link is in the description and i'll be more than happy to assist you all with creating Discord bots in Discord JS version 14. So uh, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.